Hi, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks so much for joining me. I want to talk today about branding, specifically branding as it applies to consultants and coaches. Uh, as many of you know, I came out of consumer packaged goods, first with uh, Pepsi and then Kraft Foods. And when we talk about branding in the world of consumer packaged goods, it's very different than branding for coaches and consultants. So when we talk about branding coaches and consultants, what I think it boils down to is what are you known for? What's your position? What's your platform? What do you believe when it comes to providing solutions to your clients? And you ought to be able to summarize that big belief that you have in a you know, couple of sentences. And you ought to be able to communicate it in a way that prospective clients get it. And this is so important because it is a noisy cluster world out there. There's lots and lots and lots of people who do the same thing you do. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, yeah, but I do it better. And you probably do. But remember, People are only going to know you do it better after the fact. And in client attraction, what we've got to do is we've got to break through the clutter and we've got to get that attention. Now, we talked about how we build credibility through content and there's some other videos that talk about that in more detail. But when we're talking about branding, it's what are you known for? What's your big idea? Now, you can have more than one big idea, but you ought to have at least one big idea idea, something that, you know, you're planting your flag in the ground. So, for example, in my world, my idea, my belief, my philosophy is that every coach and consultant needs a marketing system. And when you look at coaches and consultants that never achieve the success that they were hoping for, it's all because they did a little bit of marketing activities. They did it inconsistently. Nothing was integrated together. And the whole thing just kind of, you know, went in fits and starts and they never got out of the feast and famine business cycles. Where Whereas if they have a system, then you're constantly ginning up brand new prospects. You're converting a percentage of them in, into clients. You're continuing to elevate your game. You're continuing to play on a bigger and bigger stage. You're continuing to raise your fees, all sorts of good stuff. But the central tenet is that you need a marketing system. That's what I'm known for. That's what you need. You don't need the marketing system, but you need your platform. You need the thing that people immediately associate with you. And generally speaking, this goes to your process. So if you don't have a process, and yes, I get it, every client is different, but if you don't, you need to have a process, kind of, you know, looking at things from that 30,000 foot perspective. Uh, and then you need to be able to summarize that process in just a few sentences. That's your, that's your branding message. And if you communicate that, and if you incorporate that in your content distribution, then you're able to break through the clutter. Then you become known. Then you're well on your way to becoming one of the true recognize experts in your field. So I hope that makes sense. Hope it gives you some good food for thought. As always, I hope I have a chance to speak with you personally in the not too distant future. But until then, this is Mark Satterfield. Bye for now.